Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Uh, as promised, this is Yadi Hari Benton. They arrived the other day. Um, real pretty, huh? Well, this is a Hari Benton CLD 40 SM CE.
So this is a colorway, as you can see. Um, it's a colorway dreadnought. It features a A-grade mahogany, um, well, African A-grade mahogany for the top, side, and back. All right? Uh, features a mahogany neck. It has an ebony, not ebony, ebony fretboard. This has a scale length of 648 millimeters. Uh, features 20 frets, bow neck. All right. Close back tuners. Running fancy. Again, it features a veneer for the top. I don't know what what what, um, what material is this. All right. Um, not sure about the uh, saddle or the bridge. Uh, this could be blown too for the for the for the saddle, a compensated saddle. This is probably the same material as the fretboard, which is Abernol. Um It features the X bracing inside. This guitar also features a Mother of Pearl dot for the fretboard and a Mother of Pearl rosette, right? And uh, it features a black binding, very interesting. You know, black binding, which I think suits the guitar on the whole, you know, tortoiseshell or uh, pickguard. It also features a pickup system, and this is pretty, um, how should we call it? Pretty nice in a way that is incorporated into the guitar. This is uh, a different pickup system from the uh, CRD41. This is also from Fishman, but this is called the Flex Plus T pickup system. Right, also features a tuner. Right, you see. Um, the output jack is from here. In the back, you know, have this uh, black heel for the neck joint. Um, interesting. It looks really nice, right? Yeah. So, how does it sound? It has that mahogany sound, you know. Um, typical or uh, a mahogany guitar, you know. Um, it's, uh, how should we call it, it's very different from the CRD41, which was featured in the last video. This has a different sound of its own. It, it also keeps the, uh, the high top end, not as much, uh, not as pronounced as the sticker spruce, sticker spruce, uh, but still there. But it has that warm mahogany sound, and this guitar needs to be, uh, what should we call, uh, played. Play in, you know, it needs to be played because right now I can feel that the, the the guitar is not giving out its full potential in terms of volume, in terms of tone. Um, just came, so it needs to be played often in order for it to be developed further. You know, um, good-looking piece of equipment. You know, uh, plays well. Uh, the neck and everything is uh, pretty well set up. Just no sharp edges, nothing like that. Um, the neck is not even a uh, warp in any sense. It's not even bow forward or anything. It's straight. How? What do I think about this guitar? I think uh, it, it records okay, you know. But if I were to compare this with the CRD41, I think the CRD. I, I prefer the sound of the CRD41. I I I, I kind of like the sound because it's it's it's, it's um it's different. But like I said, this guitar needs to be played. Uh, it needs to be uh, played in, you know, and uh, probably the sound will develop from there. Now this guitar has a high gloss finishing, so I don't know, probably that will affect the sound a little bit. I I'm not sure, I'm not too sure. So, we'll see um, as how this guitar is going to develop in the future, you know, whether it's been played uh, by me or by someone else, you know. Uh, but, I say it again, it's a Real pretty guitar, you know. It, you know, the, you look at it, and if you just you just feel like picking it up and play, and not too bad. It sounds it sounds great, you know. Actually, um, again, the pickup system is uh, you know, um, yeah, lacking. I still think I know our subscriber uh, wrote to me, uh, telling me what's what 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 do I find wrong with the Fisherman pickups because they are all over the market. Um, I, I find that there's a, 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 a sort of a sheen over the sound, and it's not. As uh, not what I want. I, I wanted something. If I were to plug in, if I were to have a pickup system in there in my guitar, in my acoustic guitar, I wanted to sound as close as possible to uh, to a mic up guitar. You know, to how I hear from a mic. I know it's hard, but I know there are pickup systems out there, like you know the Arabex, and there are other systems out there which are really expensive, 
you know, uh, AER has one system which is pretty cool because it incorporates a mic. And I've heard it, and I know it can be done. James Taylor has a lovely uh, guitar sound with this pickup system. And I haven't found out what pickup system is he using. So you guys know, let me know. James Taylor, what pickup system does he use for his guitar? Um, and, but then he plays a lot of finger picking style, you know. So when you're strumming, it might sound again, it might sound different. So I, 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 I'm looking for, or rather I, I, I want a pickup system for a guitar that caters to both finger picking as well as to uh, strumming. And so far, you know, the RMX suits my purpose. So that's, it's not because I'm, I'm biased against Fishman. It's just that most Fishman equipped guitars that I've played all these years, you know, I, I didn't quite like them. So that's me, you know, there's nothing against the company. I'm sure they're a good company. You know, and develop a whole lot of system. And I'm sure they have a higher range model, which, which will probably sound good. I don't know. You know? So, in any case, um, this guitar comes in about 344 euros. If I'm not mistaken, I put a price down. Um, what can I say? You guys, let me know. What do you think? Uh, do you think it sounds good? Uh, would you like to get one? And uh, if you have one, what's your experiences? Uh, what are your experiences? I, I believe this and the CLD41 are one of the few guitars that would develop in time. You know, even the Martins and the Taylors, you know, they need time to open up. They need time to be played in. So acoustic guitars are weird that way. They're not like electric guitars where, you know, you can pick one up and straight away you know whether the pickup works or not, or whether the neck works or not. In the acoustic guitar, it's a bit fragile, a bit, a bit delicate. You know, delicate, or uh, you know, you have to work your 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 action through whether it's too high, too low, the buzz, you know, and um, basically take care of how this instrument, you know, how how it looks, and you got to really take care of it, like you know, not put it in the in an environment where it's too dry or too wet. So yeah, you know, that was that's why I meant by fragile. You know, like, not like an not, not like an electric guitar. Like an electric guitar, you can just put it anywhere. You know, worst case scenario, your neck whops and there's a body just just a truss rod, and you're fine. You're good to go, All right? So, um, hope you enjoyed this video about this guitar. Um, and if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel. All right, and I'll see you again uh, in the next video. But in the meantime, for those of you guys who are locked down at home, you know, I pray that you find something else to do. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm sure there are a whole lot of stuff to do, you know, Netflix, YouTube, watch your children, talk to your children, talk to your spouse, talk to your dog, your cat. You know, I'm sure there are a whole lot of things you want know, to talk to your mother or your, your father, you know, maybe it's a good time to like, you know, uh, touch base with your family. Uh, in this period of time, you know. So in whatever scenario that you guys are in, uh, I pray that you guys stay safe and I pray the peace of Jesus will be upon you. So you guys take care. Until the next video, I'll see you. God bless. Mm -hmm.